Well, hello, Pisces. Welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K, and this is your June 6th through to the 16th of 2018 Love and Romance reading. Welcome to those of you who are new, and welcome back to those of you who have followed me from the beginning, who come to me for weekly, monthly, yearly readings, and even emergency readings, who have donated, liked, subscribed, and most importantly, those who have followed up after personal readings to tell me how, as you let these energies work for you in your life, you went from unhappy to utter fulfillment. That is why I'm here today. All right, so I was shuffling the Journey of Love deck by Alana Fairchild and was going to shuffle online, and then at times we have those who jump. So we have a card here, number 42, 4 plus 2 is 6. I was glad to see that number because 6 is about finding success after turmoil, frustration, confusion, and or worry. So we've got the blood dance energies, and I'd like to uh, also read a little bit from the book to give credit to the author. But what I'm feeling with these energies are that there have been changes at home or with things that have to do with the home when it comes to children, grandchildren, your children, someone else's children. And in the next week from watching the video, there are going to be karmic blessings that are taking place, especially for someone at home who's very comfortable, happy, and joyful at this time, who may have a little white dog, brown dog, whatever it is. There is an overall beautiful energy of a large establishment organization, financial abundance. And this process in the next week and a half or two is going to be, now I have by the 19th, so maybe from the 16th to the 19th, I feel even much earlier than that, so we'll have to try and clarify. By the end of the next two weeks from watching the video, after much research about this bigger home, bigger business, bigger something, you guys are going to be able to close a chapter on one area of your life and create something or a new direction for yourself, though that may bring a little confusion and worry. So something big seems like it's going to be transpiring in the first couple weeks of June for Pisces. Let's see. So I'm gonna read from the book to give credit to Alana Fairchild. The heart craves life and the blood responds. In relationship to each other, life happens. The desire and the action, the movement of cycles, drawing in and letting go, rushing to the center and pushing far away to the extremities. It is a cycle of relationships dancing between self and other, into oneness and into individuality. So it is with human beings in relationship with each other and the human beings and the divine essence. Sometimes the heart of God feels so close it's as though our own inner passion is the very blood rushing through it. Then we journey far, bringing our nourishment to where it is needed, to those who are cold and lonely, to the farthest reaches of our own dark self, that we may, if very brave, dare to love completely. This oracle brings confirmation that you are connected to the divine source at this time and to all that is all of the time. If you are experiencing a phase of feeling cut off from yourself, from your body, from another, or from the divine, even from your own feelings, spiritual connection, or intuition, be reassured that this is a temporary part of the cycle of life itself. Soon all connections shall return with even greater warmth and nourishment, welcoming you home again with great love. If you feel you have been journeying in life and fear that you have lost your way, do not trouble yourself, precious soul. You are never far away from the divine heart and will always be called home. Love's language speaks like sounds of falling leaves, caressing wind to bear aroma sweet. You ask as if I can love in measure true and give emotions weight the scales do. 
Each tear releases more than words can say, expressing all my heart wants to convey. Wow. So like there's some blessing, some gift, some ability to rise to a higher financial abundance and security. And then there's time to do research in order to find clarity about the path ahead. All right, so I'm going to start with the Wisdom of the Hidden Realm deck. No, Wisdom of the Oracle deck by Colette Baron reed And I'm just going to do a general spread for those born under the sun sign, moon sign, and or rising sign. And then we'll clarify a little bit more when it comes to career and finances. If there are career and financial messages here, please also provide that during the circle spread for Pisces. Wow, so yes, right away here. In the center of the circle spread, this card is representing your energies here on earth at this time in your life path. This is the fork in the road energies. This is about changes being made at home, maybe with your children, in relation to your grandchildren or someone else's children. And this is a karmic gift, a karmic blessing. Spirit saying in your thoughts, remember, you have done the work. You have done the work and now can sit with four plus two is six. Success and enjoy the beautiful heat and the beauty of the fire. After you've done all the work in your relationship sector, you have the higher power, Pisces, to connect with you and to guide you when it comes to your connections with those around you from the 16th of June, from the 6th to the 16th of June. For those of you who seem like you are unsure of your path at this time, it is time to do the work when it comes to meditation. Write down what your prayers are. Write down what your direction is about and the goals you're going to be achieving. Draw a picture of that corner office or of you uh, making a certain ad amount of money. You know, draw, write down with the amount of money and then pray over that and think about that and continue to pray throughout the days and do not give up. Because as you are doing so, with the to the sea energy, spirit is going to take the wind and the waves and blow you into the right direction of this fork in the road. Because they are here around you, protecting you and guiding you at this time. So in your actions position, spirit saying all you have to do is kick back and give thanks to all the wonderful things in your life, your beautiful surroundings, the roof over your head, and the food in your mouth. In your emotional aspects position, there's going to be a change in the wind in the next two weeks. Because some of you, not all of you, whomever's energies these are for the general reading, will be blown into the right direction because you have done the work. Some of you have been taking action and doing the work at home, and you are in connection with your higher power who's going to guide you when it comes to a new direction. This is a karmic direction. So subconsciously, it's a time of deep thought. It's a time of prayer. And in your everyday mental actions and practical day-to-day -day actions, as you connect out with others, and make choices for yourself, it is important that you make sure to be fair to everyone involved and that they are fair with you. In your inner strengths position, Pisces, you guys are receiving a message. Wow, and you have the inner strengths to be able to decide, am I happy in my own space because I recognize there's no place like home or do I step into one of these directions by which is karmic? Now, karmic sounds great and it felt great at first. But karmic are just the things that are meant to come through and they may teach you about yourself and be a lesson or they're a blessing. Let's take a look. So in a three-card summary to my right, using the same wisdom of the Oracle deck, Spirit saying everything needs to be done by the book. So as you're chopping the wood, it needs to be chopped a certain way. And then before you take a step in a new path, you have to let go of an old path, right? 
Someone here needs to clean it up. Spirit is saying, let go of old negative people, places, circumstances, situations, and environments. And as you do the right thing, as you connect with others in an honest way in this first week, you are going to be reborn from something that is burning away. You're going to be reborn, actually, from unfinished communication as you bring it to a happy note in the end. Use your imagination to create an exciting new future for yourself and recognize the doorway by which, whoops, the karmic opportunity and blessing is. Let go when the time comes and move into this new doorway. Wow. So in your, in the next week and a half or so, there will be messages exchanged for you to think about. There will be kind words, maybe even gifts. Some of you are looking at your empty cup saying, is this the yang for my yin? Or should I continue to focus on the building blocks energies to manifest a solid foundation by, uh, beneath myself whereby which I will create, be creating a sol more solid soul within myself? Somebody was orphaned. So they get to decide, am I happy where I'm at? Because if I'm happy where I'm at, I know that spirit will guide me in the right direction and I don't have to carry the orphaned energies of unfinished communication. It is now time to offer my loyal heart to who and or what is best for me. To float in that beautiful milk and honey and to let go of the never ending story. Something with that, see that little heart down below there in that glass bowl? It's making this fairy sad. It keeps going around in her head. Yes, no, will they, won't they? What is going to happen? Spirit saying, breathe, take a nap, find peace, remain flexible, come to, to the edge of your light path and recognize new paths. But pay attention to the serendipity of the higher power's guidance. Wow. <clears throat> Someone's coming to recognize as this treasure comes in in the next week and a half or so that an old path no longer serves them. There's no longer any excitement, any goals, anything they need to accomplish. It's now time to move into a beautiful beginning because they chopped the wood. You chopped the wood, you did the work, and you're wearing the crown, right? You guys or someone else is going to offer their yang and spirit saying, take a moment to think. Think about the past and all that transpired, especially the most difficult experiences that taught you the most about who you are today. How are you going to take that knowledge and experience and move forward in your future? Well, spirit saying, take time to mend. Take time to pray. And take time to recognize that truth be told, Long ago, you may have mirrored another person in a different part of your soul, soul path. But now you have manifested this wisdom and knowledge being represented by the owl here, who's offering a brand new mask and a brand new beginning. As you mend, who do you want to be? Set exciting intentions and goals for yourself. The intentions are represented by eggs in this deck, and spirit will offer you the key to success. Soulmates are questionable. If you are in a partnership, go the distance and give new life to that partnership. If you're single and you feel like somebody could be a partner for you, make sure it's a balanced connection, but go the distance and give the situation an opportunity. There's something you're going to know in spirit saying remain poised. Because you're going to be able to shed old energies of chaos and conflict by understanding that someone who is very sparkly or attractive was not for you. You will be blessed in the end because you're recognizing that you no longer are repeating old cycles of the past. Amen. Congratulations, Pisces. You are receiving a gift. An opportunity to research something new, to step in a new direction, or to close the end of a chapter and stay in the space you already are in. Wow. So to clarify, 
Oh no, so now I'm gonna bring in the uh, Heal Yourself deck by Ina Seagal, and this is to kind of go deeper into any um, love and romance energies. Spirit is saying it's time to take your mask off. When it comes to this fork in the road, be true to others, be true to yourself. Pray to Spirit for exactly what it is you want to see transpire and manifest in your life at this time. In your mental aspects position, you've done the work. If you haven't done all the work, it is time to continue working on something that helps you remain balanced, a hobby, gift, talent, or skill. As you do the work, you will find success. And Spirit's confirming, unleash your creativity because this creative project, hobby, gift, talent, or skill can definitely help with the 31 as a four. Help you find success in and a solid foundation in your life when it comes to your home and money. So in your relationship sector of the circle spread, we have the higher power energies helping for you to take your mask off at home, to open your heart to love, to unleash your creativity, and to show people who you are inside. Creatively, it's time to manifest and meditate what it is you want in your path ahead because a lot of you are going through a very spiritual transformation in the next week and a half or so and you're being reborn with the Phoenix rising energies you're able to show people who you are right there in your own home maybe via the internet I always feel like she's looking at her phone <laughs> and the higher power is very much here to help you guys to take action, to love your home, to contemplate maybe even moving to a new home. What is it that you've been procrastinating when it comes to where you live, who you live with? For some of you, maybe you were always walking and choosing new paths and now it's time to take off your mask and know that it's okay to just be who you are in your own home, in your own space because you've been reborn. Now you can create a, create a hobby and something else to do with your life because you don't have to worry about love and romance at this time. It's about finding contentment and joy at home. There will be a change in the wind in the next two weeks from watching the video. For some of you, not all of you, whoever's energies these apply to, and thank you for letting me know they were yours, those of you who write me. Emotionally, there's going to be a change in the wind when it comes to a soulmate connection. There are worries, there are concerns here because of a change in the wind. In your subconscious, it's time to think about. Are you following your pride? Are you doing something you're very proud to share with the world? Are you manifesting at home and are protecting and connecting yourself via and with through spirit? Or are you following your ego side of am I attractive? Do they want me? This is about finding pride within and finding balance in your life in the next two weeks. So remain fair and balanced on a day-to-day -day basis. And know that this process of uh, spiritual transformation will help for you to heal from some sort of victim consciousness. To take off your mask and to be reborn, to manifest new ideas, new goals, and new directions. You have the inner strengths to accept this message. Some of you have been procrastinating a situation when it comes to home. And a decision is going to have to be made when you come down to, am I happy here or not? A message may come to someone and you're going to have the strength, one of you Pisces, to accept the message for what it is so that you can close a chapter on something you've been procrastinating. Something needs to be done by the book. That's what this rebirth is about. We have to leave one person to move into a new place before we can start dating again, right? We don't want to jump from the frying pan into the fire. So someone's being asked to do the work 
to not make a choice when it comes to that fork in the road quite yet because there's been a karmic lesson here that made you repeat a cycle, a pattern that is not healthy for you. Therefore, once we can identify what the cycle or pattern is, we will know what steps to take and what spirit means by doing things by the book, doing things as Jesus would do. And then, thankfully being reborn from the past. What was in the past? What are you mending from? What are you leaving behind? For some of you, not all of you, Spirit is saying you're leaving behind temptation, dreams, and fantasies. Spirit's saying it's time to come into the here and now and accept your blessings. Take the lessons from the past and apply them to the future so that you can manifest new intentions and goals that will bring you very, very, very happy blessings in your life. Again, you're being watched over by those who have passed before you, the angels, the spirit guides, and the dear Lord in heaven. All of this was meant to teach you about yourself so that you could discover your life purpose. Now is the time to connect with your soul. Connect with your family, your friends, your peeps, right? Go the distance this time. Share your heart. Spirit saying, how teachable are you? Will you choose another path? Or will there be new life in the path you're already on? It's a time to let go and to remain poised. What you're letting go of is chaos and conflict. And what you're letting go of was maybe very attractive. But spirit saying, in the end, a lot of you will be bringing an end to a connection, a business, a chapter of your life, because you understand that it was not for you. And that's when divine timing can come back in and say congratulations. You put a lot of work into that inner child. Therefore, we are giving you a leg up when it comes to your tribe, the people that you connect with and to, so that you can make your dreams come true. You cannot co-create with energies of rejection. Therefore, you need to recognize that those we wished for that came before us, that we got to experience, then went between our fingers and on its way was not love, but that now is a time to observe what love truly means to you. Because somebody here has been going round and round with their cycles and their patterns when it comes to sexuality. And Spirit's saying, you've already been blessed. Release your wild abandon into what is most important to you. That way, if you receive a sad message of endings with someone, it won't matter. You'll already find self-fulfillment, self-love, and happiness. All you have to do is heal an old hole in your heart, and you will be blessed with the, chemical, the, the chemistry to no longer self-sabotage the beautiful person you are. Wow. So I'm going to pull. Well, I, earlier I pulled because I knew I'd run out of time, and I'm trying to get these out quicker and shorter. The Wisdom of the Hidden Realm deck is what I pulled a card from earlier, and that card number for you is number 42. So this is about success. Coming out of frustration, pain, anguish. Being assisted by spirit. Allowing for spirit to take control. So to close, I'm going to read from the book to give credit to the author. The Horse King always comes to lend you the power to go the distance, forging ahead. Whatever the weather, you will most certainly reach your perfect destination with this noble ally. The Horse King lets you know that some person or circumstance brought through synchronicity will certainly appear to help you with your endeavors. You aren't meant to go this part of your journey alone. This is also an important time to delegate authority to others so that they may assist you. Currently, you're magnetic to powerful people who are in a position to help you to make your dreams come true. 
The horse king asks that you remain open to those who are sent to aid you. You can be rest assured that you will be lifted up and will ride high in victory. But he wants you to know that, you know, you think you can do everything by yourself. Keeping control of everything around you is counterproductive and exhausting. You may lose an important opportunity if you insist on being stubborn. The horse king is patient, however, and will wait for you to come to your senses and accept the help you need. You won't be able to reach your goals otherwise. Yet the horse king says that all it takes is a decision to jump on his back, to ask for help, and to grace gracefully allow yourself to be carried to your destination. Let go of control and amazing things can happen to you now. So luckily, Pisces, you guys just need to focus on what fulfills you in your life, what makes you happy. Give thanks to the wonderful blessings. And at some point, know that spirit will guide you to close the book on a situation and bring clarity to you about what the next chapter is going to be about. It's a blessed chapter where your dreams will come true. I can't wait to hear. Thank you again for stopping by. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you'd like me to pull your personal energies, my email address is josiek42 at gmail.com, and the prices are listed below. Take care, and God bless.